Hey, Dad. It's weird. It's, it's already been a year, a long year without you. And I keep thinking that I'll wake up to a missed call from you or I'll go to visit Mom and there you'll be just piddling around in the barn or sitting on the couch drinking black coffee, but you're gone and I'm the man now. I remember the first time you called me a man. It was when you left for that mission trip to Haiti for those two weeks. I was only in the seventh grade, but you told me to look after Mom and you said I was the man of the house. You were a man of few words. But I hung on to every word you said. I, I admired you. You weren't perfect by any means, but I loved you. I, I still love you. Even in high school, I know I didn't always treat you right, and you didn't always do things right yourself. You had a temper. But you were always the first to apologize. And I respected that in you. I want to be just like you, Dad. You taught me what it means to be a man because you were a good man, one of the best. And now I want to try to take up your mantle, continue your legacy. I want to dig where my daddy dug. Hey man, my name's Keith Boggs and I've had the privilege to lead Real Momentum Ministries for the last 10 years. Our desire is to ignite a disciple making movement that impacts the family and the church to the ends of the earth. We've been watching God do great things in the midst of the challenges that we face in our culture and also in the context of the church. Did you know that for every 10 men that attend the church today, one in 10 men have a biblical worldview? Nine out of 10 dads bringing children to church will see those children leave the church when they graduate high school. I think the impact of biblical manhood as it relates to a biblical worldview does impact the family and it does impact the church. I'm looking forward to being with Pastor Paul Miller and Matt Alexander as we do all we can on February 24th and 25th to help men win in this area of getting a biblical worldview in regard to manhood. I know God wants to speak. I know God wants to move. And I'm looking forward to be a part of that weekend with you. I hope to see you then.